In this video, we're gonna talk about how to diet for a photo shoot. Yeah. What do you need to do, how you need to train, how you need to diet, other things you need to consider. We are Dan and Mike, also known as Biceps and Banter. Nobody calls us that. In these videos, five minute fitness videos, we try and cram into five minutes as much nutrition and training information as possible. I'm used to cramming things in. So stick around for five minutes. I'm not really. You're in for a treat. I'm not really, it's very, very small. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, share this with someone who needs to watch it. I actually did have this question from one of the guys here. It was like, what would I do if I was gonna compete? What's different? And I was like, well, nothing. You would just do what you're doing now for longer. And again, depending on how lean that some of these guys have got, it might be a couple of weeks, it might be a couple of months or whatever, but you would still continue doing the same thing. You would be creating a calorie deficit over a period of time. So I said, well, what have you done for this photo shoot that was different to how you dieted before we even signed you up for the photo shoot? Well, nothing. So it's the same thing. So there's no real need to change anything, right? The common misconception with things like photo shoots and things like that is that you have to do something drastically different or there's something going on here that you are not privy to, for example. And yeah. that's just not the case. Like, all we've done with our, our clients who do photo shoots is they're just our normal clients, just dieted a little bit harder, potentially. They may be able to skip a few more little social events, a few more things. They'd have to pull back a little bit more on the food for a little bit longer, maybe. But essentially, it's just a time management thing. They've just yeah. gone for longer in this diet. So they've had to think a little bit more. We've had to maybe plan ahead of time a little bit more plan for events, things like that. Maybe they've had to skip the odd event to get to this level of condition, but certainly nothing out of the ordinary. And none of them joined up with us. Not one single person here joined up with us specifically to do a photo shoot. They've just seen initial results and gone, actually, yeah, do you know what? With a little bit of accountability, putting a little bit of more effort in, like a bit of direction, you know, a bit of support, actually, yeah, that's feasible. And they've all gone into a position that they never thought they were gonna. However, it's not that easy. So if you do want the secret, Dan's been a little bit coy, you do have to sign up for Coach. Just and there is actually a secret method. Like, there is actually a secret method. So but you need to pay it. You got to pay it first. The last thing about photo shoots, one thing that I think is really important people know is that the difference between I think getting lean for like a holiday and things like that and then for a photo shoot is that there's that last sort of I suppose eight week period where you start like doubting yourself. Yeah. You kind of think, oh, I'm not ready, like I'm never gonna look good, I don't look that good on the iPhone. Like I take pictures on my check pictures on my iPhone, I don't look very good, like I don't yeah. think I'm gonna look good on the day. Well in the, in the mirror, in the bathroom, yeah. shit lighting, I with mean, toothpaste fucking all over the mirror, <laughs> flashback. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Bailey's like a little bit better than you with an iPhone. So, you know, he's got a good camera. So he makes you look a little bit better. Yeah. So you're all right. It's just the camera. It's just the camera. Isn't it's it? just the camera. But yeah, you have to go to that little, you know, that little bit further and you get to that point where it gets a little bit harder mentally. You start, you know, maybe you get a tiny bit more food focused. You maybe have to push through like times in your training session. You're like, I can't be asked to be here. I don't want to be here. You maybe have to do that a few more times than you would do if you're just dying for a holiday or anything like that. But often the goal and the accountability of having that goal there pushes you through. You get to that point where, you know, you're a few weeks out and you're like, right, I'm ready. I'm as ready as I can be. And then all you have to do is stick on a tan, bit of a pump up, and you, you look good. You'd be surprised, you know, like everybody's got the same free will, everybody's got the same choices. Eat it or not, yep. go to the gym or not, do my cardio or not. Everyone's got the same choices, no one's better than anybody else. Yeah, people might be having to come a further journey because they might have got more weight to lose or whatever that is, or they've got more difficult circumstances, a busier job, you know, their parents. They've got a different journey, sure, but at the same time, you're still accountable to your own decision, so everybody's got that decision making process. So don't be restricted by what you think is achievable because like I said none of these guys yeah. thought they were ever going to get in photo shoot shape but they have done. It's just one of those things that people don't ever think is achievable and possible and for us we like to showcase the fact that a lot of our clients aren't fitness models they're not PTs they're not in the fitness industry they're just ordinary people who wanted to set themselves a goal or something they never thought was achievable and every time we've done it every single person has achieved something they never, never thought they could. So anytime you see on Instagram some dickhead posting their fucking six or seven meals of chicken and broccoli that puts you off because you think oh well I couldn't stick to that there's no fucking need. Yeah, you don't do need that. to stick to that. When somebody's posting an hour on their fucking stair mill in the morning, fasted, going, oh, you know, daily grind, get the fuck out. Like, yeah. you don't need to you do that. Need like, they're just dickheads. If they want to do that, fine. Like, it's going to work because they're still in a calorie deficit over a yeah. period of time. But you don't have to do that. Like, it's not necessary. There are far better, far easier ways to go about doing that. Drugs, sort of thing. mainly. Oh, yeah, drugs. Drugs. Well. So, we're advocating <laughs> the use of drugs. Uh, and wine, apparently. That's all good. Ribena, isn't it? apparently. Ribena, is it? Yeah, Ribena. Yeah. Although I can't see straight anymore. So. <laughs> so there you go. If you ever thought about doing a fitness photo shoot, don't be put off by what you see by the normal fitness industry kind of stuff. Yeah. Because you can do it another way. Yeah. It's a better way. Just ask us. <laughs>